Welcome back to the Mike Leaf Show here on the Warrior Sports Network. I'm now b joined by Winona State freshman guard Josh Mongan. And, and Josh, um, you're a freshman. Uh, you're a redshirt freshman, so this is your second season on the team. Um, but you're still relatively new to the uh, the rivalry that is Winona State and Minnesota State. Um, but you got an, an up close and, and personal look at what that game is like last weekend with the Warriors coming out with a 16 point win over Minnesota State. Um, what's it like to play in a game like that where there's so much emotion on both sides, uh, so much history and tradition um, on both sides? What's it like to be a part of a game like that? It's a lot different than watching it like I did my first year. Yeah. Uh, I got a good taste of it the, the third time at Region when we played them at their place, but playing it, it's totally different. Your emotions are so much higher. I could probably jump two times higher. The adrenaline was way up there. Um, it's one of the most fun games I've ever played in. Their the stands were packed, and that was awesome. The Warriors came out and supported. Uh, even Mankato had a student section, so I think yeah. that alone kind of describes how big Mankato and Winona State is. How do you balance the emotion? Obviously, you don't need to do anything extra to get hyped up for a game like that. Uh, so how do you balance that emotion and come out excited but still even keeled uh, so that the excitement and the emotions aren't really affecting what you're doing? Yeah, I mean, we're all basketball players, and I think we've all had a game where you get really hyped for a game, but you let that get too emotional. You'll airball your first shot, you'd be too hyped. And even though you want emotions like we had against Mankato, you got to keep yourself cool. It's a game, and you can't let emotions get the best of you because they're definitely going to run high on the court with trash talking and everything and playing as hard as you can. So there's definitely a lot of emotion, but at the same time, you got to keep yourself cool. Obviously, there were so much that went into Friday's game against uh, Minnesota State. Um, you know, they were tied with us for the uh, the conference lead. There was a lot of conference, regional, those type of implications, uh, not to mention the history and the rivalry there. Um, but then Saturday, you play a Concordia St. Paul team that's very, very talented. Um, what did you do in the preparation for, the, for this past weekend to make sure that you didn't let Concordia sneak up on you, that you were making sure to give them the credit that they've earned? Well, Monday, and when, or Monday Tuesday, we went just as hard as we did Wednesday, Thursday for Mankato. We know that Concordia coach always says that one team that he thinks could be as good as anyone in the conference, and I, I agree, they have so much talent, even with Cole Alstead out. Mm -hmm. So one of the first things we said Friday night was we got to come out tomorrow because if we lose that, this Friday night win meant nothing. It's one game at a time, so Friday, we took care of Friday, and then it was on the Saturday, and that was the most important game because that was the next one. And, I mean, we needed it to say it top of Mankato in conference. So. You mentioned the most important game is the next one, and now the next one for the Warriors is this weekend. They're at Northern State on Friday, and then MSU Moorhead on Saturday. Two more really, really good teams, uh, and now these games are on the road away from Winona. Uh, what's, the, uh, what's the mindset to keep that emotion and keep that excitement running for you guys as you take this trip on the road? I think just knowing that we're traveling eight, seven, eight hours to get there, I mean, if you're going to travel that far, go take care of business. Mm -hmm. um, we had Jonte come in earlier in the week. He leaves soon for Romania. And he gave us some nice words of wisdom. And he said that treat every game like you have a goal. He said make sure you have that goal in the back of your mind. And we all know what that is. But at the same time, the next game is the most important. So to get to the goal that we want, we have to take care of Northern on Friday. How big is it for, for you as a team to have guys like Jonte Flowers, John Smith, those great players uh, in Winona State history, to have them or in and around this team? Um, what's that like having those great guys who have been there and, and seen everything uh, be able to come in and give you some insights and, and give you some motivation? What's that like for you guys? It's, it's exhilarating because, I mean, I, this is only my second year here, so it's not like I know anyone like I would at my high school where I know a lot of people before. Right. So to see Jonte and John Smith and all those guys come back, watch games, it's awesome to know the camaraderie that we still have with them and know that they care that much about Winona State that they're willing to give us hints. They'll talk to us at practice. They'll come watch us. And I mean, Jonte had some great things to say, and it was really nice to hear it from what Coach Lee said, the best player at Winona State all Absolutely. time. Absolutely. Well, that's all we have for right now with Josh. We'll be back later in the week. More from Coach Leaf here on the Mike Leaf Show.